Hey everyone, it's me, Arthur Cade. Josephine Scriver, last time we were here at the Victoria's Secret flagship store, we were at the Angel Suite. I Everybody know. was so jealous of me, by the way. How amazing that suite was. I feel like Gorgeous. if you are in New York City with your girlfriend, you have to spend Valentine's in that Angel Suite. You have to go there, get champagnes, get small snacks, and just shop underwear, try it out. Be like, you know, that Bridesmaids movie where you're just trying it out in front of each other. I can't imagine a better way to do it. I mean, if that's not the greatest sales pitch to come here of all time, <laughs> I don't know what is. Valentine's Day is upon us. I know. I'm what, excited. What, if I had a girlfriend or wife, what would I be buying them for Valentine's Day? I mean, if you know their sizes, and I gotta be firm on this, if you know their sizes, I think the Very Sexy collection is amazing. There's a great push up bras, there's great, like, bombshell bras, there's even small teddies they can even like wear with their outfits. That's my own style little secret, by the way. I love to wear my outfits and like peek out underwear. Especially like if you see that teddy up there, you it's like a bodysuit and you can wear high waist jeans and like a blazer and you can kind of hint that you're wearing underwear all day long. Um, so I think if you know your girl's size, that's the right way to go. If you don't, because you don't want to get in that kind of trouble not knowing her right size, buying it too small or too big, it never goes right. <laughs> I say buy the new Tease fragrance. It's a sexy little flirty fragrance. It has like a fishnet cover and it's kind of subtle so it fits everyone and it, buying someone a, a smell is such a like, you know, private thing. For me it's the first thing I notice about people. It's the first thing I fall for if their scent is right. If they don't smell right, forget if you don't, it. Exactly. And forget that's why, it. So, or if you go, don't smell right, give her the Tease because then she can't smell. I know Taylor was just showing it to me upstairs or letting me smell it upstairs. It's really, it's, really nice. It's really nice because it's not overpowering. It's not too much and it kind of fits everybody. Here's a million dollar question. What are you doing for Valentine's Day? Ooh, I hope I'm off. <laughs> Taylor was just saying that too. She's like, I might be working. I'm like, God, you think you have to work on Valentine's Day? No, I think it's for me, it's all about embracing, you know, the girlfriends in your life. I actually think it's Valentine's is more than just a couple's thing. It's about, you know, so I make sure I send all my girlfriends a little gift, make sure they feel special. Um, and I send my mom flowers, because you know what? It's about girls feeling special, it's about love. It's not just about, you know, because there's so many singles out there too. It's there for everybody. It's probably actually the best time to ever meet somebody. <laughs> be oh, out on Valentine's Day. You should be out on Valentine's with all these girls just having a fun time. You know, and as a girl, I, I make sure that they, I give them lipsticks. There's a perfect bat, velvet matte lipstick this season. I'm actually wearing one, saying. Um, I'm kind of a tomboy, so these kind of lipsticks does not work for me in the normal sense because they always go everywhere. But this is the first time I found something that actually sticks and I can forget about wearing lipstick and it doesn't go like everywhere all of a sudden. <laughs> Model problems. <laughs> Girl problems. It's girl, a big, girl problems, it's true. Model. It's a girl, it's a universal girl problem, so I would say. Enormous news yesterday. Christy Brinkley, at 63 years old, is modeling in the Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Edition. I know, how crazy is How that? insanely gorgeous she looks. How inspiring is it as a model yourself to see someone at 63 still look, feel, and act the way she does? I mean, she's one of the biggest inspirations out there. I think it's so empowering to see a woman just completely like the confidence she has in herself and the self-love. And I think everybody could learn from that because there's so much like, I think in my generation and younger, everybody's like insecure or self-hate or I think, you know what, just stand with who you are and like be proud of that. You're unique and you're amazing in your own self. And she's really empowering that. And I hope to be half as cool as she is when I get that age. I feel like we're seeing a new age of supermodel right now. I mean, it's it's incredible to see from people like you and Sarah and Taylor to the Gigi's and the Bellas of the mm -hmm. world. What do you think about the new age of the supermodel? I think it's really, really cool to be part of this age because there's some sort of like, we get to like kind of have our own say in it with the whole social media, with that kind of power, you get your own word on it. You get to let the world know how you want to be perceived. And I think that's so empowering and it's like, it's cool that people are so interested in modeling again. And I think we're missing that. We're, there was like a gap from the 90s to like now. And it's really cool to be part of this generation. And I'm really proud of it. What does it mean to you to be part of this brand that empowers so many young women around the world? I, I couldn't be more proud in being a face of this company. They really are all about empowering strong, sexy, confident women. You know, you gotta be fit, you gotta be sexy. You know, strong is sexy. And you, we work our asses up every day to like, and I think that really encourages other girls out there to you know, do their best and like be everything. And you know, and even if you don't have time for that, that's okay too. 
just wear matching underwear. You'll feel sexy. <laughs> no matter what, just buy Victoria's Secret. That's the key to it all. No, I'm saying, like, when I, honestly, I, when I wear matching underwear, I know it sounds basic, and you probably don't get it because you're not a girl. But if my bra matches my panties, I just automatically feel more sexy. You guys are easy. You could just put whatever, like, little, like, tongue on you want. There's nothing there. But as a girl, it's a second outfit you put on. It's a big deal part of the day. Like, what do I wear underneath the thing that nobody can see anyway?